Hello, it's me, Crystal, and for today's video, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to assess the press and axilla. First, assemble all the equipments and materials that you will be needing. And now you can now proceed with the assessment. Hello, good day, sir. I'm your student nurse for today from BSN1A, and I am going to assess you for your press and axilla. Um, okay, sir, before we proceed with the procedure, I'm going to ask you for verification, sir. Okay, sir, before we proceed, I'm going to ask you for your consent. Po. Is it okay po ba, to touch some parts of your body po? Yes. for the assessment? Okay, thank you, sir. Um, what is your preferred language? Po ba? Is it English or Tagalog? Tagalog. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, I'm going to remind you, lang po, sir, that everything that um, happened in here po for the assessment will be fully documented and will remain confidential between you and me in the attending position that I'm referring to. Okay, now, sir, I'm going to provide you for your privacy. Okay, sir, before we proceed for the assessment, I'm going to ask you for your history. Okay, now I'm going to proceed doing my hand hygiene. Okay, sir, I'm going to ask you to take off your shirt. Po. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, now, sir, I'm going to proceed with the inspection for your breast po. Inspect the breast for size, symmetry, and contour or shape while the client is in the sitting position. Inspect the skin of the breast for localized discolorations or hyperpigmentation, retraction, or dimpling, or hypervascular area swelling or edema. Inspect the areola for your size, shape, symmetry, color, surface characteristics, or any masses or lesions. Um, the areola may be round or oval and can be varied to be pink to black. The surface of the areola is should be smooth. Inspect the nipples for precise shape, position, color, discharge, or lift. The patient uh, has a oval shape of areola and the color is varies from brown, pinkish to brown. Okay, the surface of the areola is smooth also and there's the presence of lesions. It is also symmetrical in color and size and shape. The pulse of the patient is point forward. One or both may normally be inverted, but the patient is not inverted in nipples. And also, the nipples are symmetrical in size, shape, position, color, and there is no presence of discharge and emulation. Okay. Sir, see the face your hands pop. Okay, and push down your Hands together and elbow flex. Okay, sir. There is no presence of any retraction. Okay, now, sir, press your hands po in your hips. Naman. Place your hands in your hips. Okay. So, first, I'm going to palpate the axillary port and make sure to cover all the four areas of the axilla. Now I'm going to palpate the supra clavicular lymph nodes. Okay, sir, sila. And then the subclavicular lymph nodes. Okay, sir, I'm going to teach you how you will do the self examinations at home using a pair of fingers, the finger pad, and here for. Um, do it in circular motion and glide it okay. in outer to inner ko hanggang makaabot ko dun sa loob ng inong nipple area. Next, sir, you're going to use it of two fingers, press it here. Press it down and then attach it in circular motion to the remove if there's a presence of mindset. Okay, now you can now proceed off determining the nipples if there is a presence of discharge. Well, 
pwede i-feel po and then para makita mo po sir kung may presence po po ng each church and there's na na lang po for the patient there's no presence of any of this church okay so you can now put your shirt back po I'm going to document na po all of the things naman po everything is normal naman po there's a presence of masses, lesions or any discoloration suffered and hyper pigmentations in your dress naman po and also there is no masses in axillary and portofil lymph nodes Okay, sir, I'm going to document your own book. And that's all the book for today, are for our assessment book. And thank you, sir, for your preparations.